I help myself. Uh, how are you all? Uh, it's very good to see this is Ben. He's lovely, Ben. Um, it's lovely to see you all. Um, I'm back for the second video. What we did last time, we looked at sounds in the home that, that we found, some junk percussion, and played around with it and see what the sounds could make, what they could do, all sorts of weird things like that. Um, uh, for the next video, I sort of like pulled it in a little bit, and I want to look at um, some sounds that I've chosen, and I'm going to play them. I'm not going to tell you what was in my head, the sort of how to describe the sound or what I was thinking about. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to think about what you think it might be, then I'm going to tell you what I actually was thinking of when I was playing the sound. Well, before we start, it's really about imagination. So uh, there's things that I'm going to play that I'm going to think, you know what, in my head that sounds like this. But for you, it might be a completely different thing, totally different. Uh, it could be really wacky and crazy. That's okay. Whatever goes, goes. Imagination is all powerful. Okay, certainly with music and certainly with jump percussion, stuff like this. So we'll begin. I'm going to play this. This is pasta in a jar. Okay, so you have a think what this might sound like and I'll tell you what I was thinking of while I was playing. Any ideas? You'll have to speak up. Uh, for me, that was someone walking on a path, maybe with some stones on the path. So, Okay, I'll keep going. See what else is. This is a colander which the pasta will go in when it's cooked. But give a listen to this. What do you think? For me, it's a church bell, a church bell. Yeah, I'll keep going. So these are things that I've just like liked to play around with. There's nothing, I haven't picked them out especially. Um, just things. I thought I'll, I'll try, that could make this sound. So that's what I'm playing around with really. Just the idea of sound and ideas and words and maybe little sentences. Um, we've got these. Look what these are. Cooking. We've got a colander, we've got pasta, we're on a cooking frenzy here, aren't we? Uh, this. So I can get this, I can get my fingertips. I'll get the other one. And I was thinking when I was playing this. What do you think that might be? Could be anything. In my mad head, it's raindrops slowly starting. And then getting faster. And then really fast. But the saucepans. What else we got? This is a classic. You'll know, I'll bet you know what this is. If I hold them properly. Who was that? What do you think? I know who it is, it's Come on, Ben, come on. So, 
Um, but that's my version of Ben, really. Just two bowls. You can use cups, bowls, anything. As long as you've got, you know, it's not glass, really, because you don't want to damage things and knock things around. I was thinking, um, and that's um, an ice tray. And I was thinking, this is a bit of a weird one, but my head does get weird. We've got this going on. That's right. No. That for me, it was like roadworks or someone drilling or something weird going on outside, drilling roadworks, some people working. Cool. We'll keep going. Oh, yes. Wind. I've already told you what this is. <laughs> But you can do you can do make some sounds with your mouth as well. So you can go you could do the or you could use a pump thing. So as I've already told you, that was wind. You'd have to guess that one. Um, this one is again something you can do with your around this area. Here we go. Hopefully birds. Now I've got my stuff on a table. You can't really see it, but this is why it's just balanced up here. It's on a table. And I thought this might be nice to use the table if I'm using it. You can have maybe a kitchen table. And uh, I'll tell you what I'm thinking of while I'm doing it. But see if you can guess the same thing. But if it's completely different, it doesn't matter. It's good. It could be the same, which would be amazing, or it could be different. What do you think? I'm thinking of someone running. Someone running. But maybe you might think it's a, a volcano about to explode. Who knows? We don't know. That's the beauty of sound. For me, this is like a little bit like in your house. It's like, you know, you've gone on Easter egg hunts. Easter egg hunts, it's very difficult to say that. Well, this for me was like a sound hunt. Look at the things to make sound with. So you want to get into that vibe, really. Anything goes. There's no wrong, only right. Okay, then we've got, this is what I was thinking when I was playing this. There's two ways of playing this. You can play it with your hand if you can, or you can hold it and someone can play it for you. Well, let's try. Or with a stick. What do you think that might be? I was thinking of the sun, the sun rising. It could also be going down, it could be sun setting as well, couldn't it? Um, this is one of my favourites, I love doing this stuff. You've got to close your eyes to do this. Favourite thing too? Sleeping. It's a must. Then we've got another saucepan. I can't turn this over because there's water inside it, okay? And I've got, can you see what that is? A straw. Okay, I've got this one end of my mouth, one end of the water, and have a think what this could be.
So I was thinking of, how about you? I was thinking of water bubbling, waterfall, rivers moving, fishes going through, all sorts of things, there's a river water. So there's a whole list of bits and pieces there. Uh, maybe eight or nine of them. But that's what I've come up with. And what I'd like you to do, um, after you've seen the first one, and this will be the second one that you'll see, uh, is to do, do the same really, to think about uh, sounds in the house that you really enjoy making sounds with, but with a friend or your, your mum or your dad or your teacher in school or whatever, whoever's there with you to help you, maybe to think about what the sound you're making could be. And maybe you could write them down or even draw a picture of them, a picture of what it could be, uh, and let us know. Um, you can record these on a video like I'm doing on your phone or a laptop, or if you haven't got that, you could write them in and say what, what you used and what the sound was about. There's all sorts of things you can do here, but um, it'd be really lovely to hear your versions of what you've used and what you were thinking of when you were playing, what sound you think it was. And then we'll take it further on, on the third video. So, a word bank. Words linked to sounds that you found from junk in your house. Okay? Have fun. Look after yourselves. And I'll see you very, very soon. Cheers. Hold on. Ben says...